A high-resolution image can give us incredible amounts of detail from an everyday object. This experience intensifies when we're photographing small things. We were challenged by this experience, to find a solution for high-resolution microscopic medium format photography. These are some sample images of glass defects, observed under a microscope. The most important part of this challenge was to find the right tube lens that has a large enough image circle to cover the entire medium format sensor, as well as reproduce a high quality image from a microscopic object. After trying different lenses, we discovered that the large format apochromatic Rodenstock lens with a focal length of 210mm is one of the top choices. In a polarizing microscope, there are two polarizer filters, one in front of the light source and another behind the objective. Because of this, we also used two polarizing filters in our solution, one between the objective and the tube lens and the other in front of the light source. In order to reproduce an image with minimum optical errors, we used apochromatic objectives from Mitotoyo that have high enough resolution and sensor coverage in addition to low chromatic aberration. Finally, the optical part of this solution was built with a large format lens, a polarizing filter, an adapter to attach the objective to the tube lens, and the objective. The other technical challenge was controlling the exact area of focus which was achieved with the Novaflex stacking rail, with a 200 micron precision. We used the Novaflex bellows as a darkroom which doubled as an adapter to attach the large format lens to the digital back. All the movements must be set to zero when using bellows with tilt shift abilities. Since it was preferable not to use a mechanical shutter due to vibration, we used a digital back with an electronic shutter. The stacking rail can send a signal to the digital back in order to capture an image, therefore it must be connected to it with a wire.
The controller settings are set to step, which calculates the required number of images from the start and end points and the length of each step, which are manually given.